Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. If you are brand new to my channel, yay, you found me, finally. I've been waiting for you. And if you are a returning subscriber, yay, thanks so much for coming back. As you know already, I do movie reviews, but sometimes I also do documentary reviews. And that's what I'm doing today. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you wanna spend time or money or both sometimes watching a particular film. So the movie I'm reviewing today is called Billion Dollar Babies, the true story of the Cabbage Patch Kids. This interesting documentary is now playing in select theaters. It's rated PG and is an hour and 40 minutes long. Now, I know that's weird to have it a PG rating if it's a documentary. Um, and in fact, I'd probably give it a G, really, because it's about dolls. But actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're not allowed to call them dolls. We have to call them babies. But anyway, my overall movie review mom grade for this film is a B plus. So I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell. And then I'll point out things I liked, things I didn't like, tips for parents, themes worth talking about, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that you might also like if you like this one. All right, let's dive in. First of all, I have to say that I lived in Georgia for 15 years and loved it, by the way, and visited the famous Cabbage Patch Hospital where these famous dolls were born or hatched, I guess you could say. That tourist attraction is still bringing in crowds in Cleveland, Georgia. So in the film, we learn that it's a big no-no to call them dolls, but instead babies. Those babies created a buying frenzy that changed American pop culture and consumerism, at least here in America, forever. The movie takes a look at the history and the popularity of these unique babies. The film was written and directed by Andrew Jenks. So here's a list of things that I really liked about the film. First of all, we get to meet all of the people who were involved in the birth of Cabbage Patch Dolls through interviews and video clips. It's fun to watch a lot of the old commercials from the 1980s that kickstarted the shopping hysteria of the 80s. We also get to learn about some of the history of toys and dolls in general. Neil Patrick Harris, by the way, narrates the documentary. It would have been really cute to see him holding some of these little babies at the end or even at the beginning of the movie, but we don't. Keep watching at the end of the film to see images and video with on-screen text that tells us what happened to the featured people after the Cabbage Patch Kids phenomenon, as well as see a dancing video of sorts inspired by the babies. The film does ultimately a really great job showing us how these Cabbage Patch Babies truly shaped the merchandising mania we now call Black Friday, underlining the entire movie by playing the 1973 hit by Alice Cooper called Billion Dollar Babies. We also get to learn about the knockoff products and legal battles that pursued the success of this company. The second half of the film is spent going over several lawsuits associated with the CPK, Cabbage Patch Kids, IP, the intellectual property. Now, there were just a few things that I didn't like or just thought could have been done better. For example, it would have been fun to see children of today being interviewed about whether or not they wish they had one of these babies or if their parents had one or if they wanted one, if it were compared to getting an iPhone, for example, or some other toy that's popular today. A lot of the video clips that we see of children are from the past. You know, one is crying hysterically because some mean old lady grabbed the baby out of her hand at the store, you know, because she wanted to get it for her daughter. And so the daughter's crying. The, the other daughter is crying and the mother's like, what kind of an animal, you know, steals a doll out of a, daughter, a little girl's hands, you know, and it's just crazy what people did back then. I never had one of these babies. I thought they were kind of cute. And in the movie, they admit they're kind of ugly, but they're also kind of cute. And they interview people who just thought they were the most beautiful doll ever, which I just think is interesting. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? 
So let me give you some tips for parents that, since we're talking about kids here. Young kids might be interested to learn about the origins of this famous doll. However, the film is a documentary that might not hold interest for long. You know, interviews, adults talking and that kind of thing. But older kids might be interested. There's no profanity, yay. There's talk of dolls being signed on their bums by the creator of the company for authenticity. And that really was one of the ways that they showed that you were getting an actual cabbage patch doll and not one of these knockoff products. Some of the themes that are illustrated very well in the film are being one of a kind. And honestly, that was the genius behind these babies was not just creating a doll and then putting it on the assembly line and having it rubber stamped over and over and over again. They wanted to create unique dolls that even looked like their owners in some sense, <laughs> different hair color, eye color, you know, that kind of stuff, being one of a kind. And a reminder to us that we are one of a kind. Other themes are business, marketing and merchandising, consumerism, capitalism, adoption, supply and demand. And that's a really interesting element of the film because there is some conversation about did they create, did the company create a false sense of no supply, which is what created that surge in demand, or was it genuine? So I thought that was interesting uh, because I remember hearing about that, you know, during the shopping frenzy, they're so impossible to get. And somebody flew all the way to England because they had heard that they had some there. Anyway, interesting competition, obviously, is a theme. Black Friday and American pop culture. All right. So as I was watching this, I instantly thought of some recent movies that I reviewed that are somewhat similar. The first one is called The Beanie Bubble. Now, this is about the Beanie Baby frenzy, and that occurred when my kids were pretty little. And, I, you know, we had, we bought a few, but really for the kids to play with, not for them to put in a special uh, air-controlled environment box or something like that in order for it to appreciate in value, which was the promise at the time. They just played with them and whatnot. But this movie is different in that it's a fictional movie, like a feature film, as opposed to a documentary. But it tells the true story of the Beanie Babies and that massive bubble that hit. Another movie I also reviewed, actually all three that I'm recommending are ones that I recently reviewed. I'll queue up one of them so that you can watch my review after you see this one. But they all are about true stories about real companies that created a massive change in marketing and merchandising and consumerism here in the United States, at least. The second movie is called Tetris and how that was uh, just one of the first games that changed the computer world as we know it today. And then and fantastic performances in that one. All of these have just excellent performances. The last movie is called Air and it is the true story of the Air Jordan products in basketball. So check out all of those. I recommend all of them. thought that they were really well done. And it's just interesting to kind of learn the behind the scenes information after the fact. All right. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. When you get a minute, run over to Facebook and you can join our Movie Review Mom Facebook group. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.